Hello everybody, it's the City Mad Haven here today, and, well, I, I it, it finally came in, I finally got it hooked up, the Series X, uh, you know what, I kind of felt like, it, it, the first match that I play on tanks with the Series X hooks up, I've been sitting here for a few minutes, uh, waiting for stuff to download, but, guys, this thing is just ridiculously fast at everything that it does. I mean, don't get me wrong, this is like the first time it's been hooked up, fresh out of the box, and I mean, uh, I finally get to use that 60 frames a second for my recordings, and I'll tell you now, it looks amazing. I, I, I know this is just completely out of the blue and random, but this looks amazing. Also, uh, today we also reached 1,000 subscribers, and uh, I gotta, you know, give a massive thank you to uh, Slap a Fish, and uh, to basically everyone who has been, you know, a part of this community for over a year. Um, I don't have much words to say about it except for thank you. It has been awesome to be your guys' content creator and someone that you guys come to for information about the game. I know that the past couple of uh, weeks I've been on and off and a little bit upset with the devs, but I, I need to kind of change my point of view. And I've loaded into this match so fast that there's over a minute left in the timer before it starts. It's been a while since I've seen that. But, I, yeah, I have no words to express it. I am speechless. And me, I just, I, I want to do my best at it. You know, it's going to take some time to get things put together. Um, there will be a few changes coming to the channel. Primarily, I'm going to be hiring someone to do editing and a few other things. And trying to get everything put together to the best I can. And can you type 5, please move and stop pushing? I understand that you're in the big boy tank and that you don't care about any of the small fries. But the longer it takes me to get somewhere, the more I'm not going to be able to support you. Um, now that I'm thinking about it, it just... Wow! I don't notice much of a difference in graphics, but I do notice a difference in the frame rate. A tremendous difference in that frame rate. Scratch that, some of the coloration and some of the shadowing looks a lot better. You know what, this is actually way nice. You can tell that it's rainy. It's a little bit darker in the map. May not be by a tremendous amount, but you can definitely tell. I am the only one here, so I'm actually going to go ahead and back off and let these guys have the mid. And the water on the screen. I completely forgot about that. Uh, they need to remove the um, demonstrations that, like, you're driving over terrain and that pops up. It's just a little annoying and doesn't need to be there. Wow, look at that. I'm sorry, you guys don't feel what I'm feeling, but this feels amazing with the aiming. It's a little jumpy, but other than that, it feels really good. Guess I'm used to having lower frames. But, wow. I Yeah, you know what? Um, This is really cool. I don't even know how to express this right now. This feels amazing. The, the Turan, by the way, is still redonkulous. I mean, look at this. There's light tanks behind me. Look at how close he had to get to be able to spot me out. I'm so sad that I missed that. I'm just a little bit more distracted about the way that this feels than anything else right now. Oh, and we uh, track the um, T92 instead. Yeah, I'm distracted by how this feels more than anything right now. And artillery on the move. You know, because it's balanced. Well, you guys, this... I actually just... I was getting ready to pause it, but then as I thought about it, just... Wow, that freaking load time. Holy bejesus. You know what? The, the jump from... The 1X to the uh, Series X, there is definitely a jump 
in just overall performance. I This is going to take a few days to get used to, in all honesty. I'm going to be enjoying this to the fullest. I, yeah. My, my setup over the past year has gone through a lot of changes. And the next one is... Um, Actually, I'm going to have the community decide this for me. I am stuck between either getting a 3070 or getting a 3060. I don't want to get the top of the line card because there's just no point to get the top of the line card. I don't play a whole lot of games on PC. I mostly play on console. So um, I'm going to let you guys choose 3070 or 3060. I'm just kind of hands in the air like which one I want to get. Uh, it'll primarily be just for recording purposes. Uh, currently using a 1660 Super, and I want to build my sister a computer for school, and I'm thinking that the 1660 would do better with her than me for a uh, dedicated GPU. But, I, you know, I'm, I'm speechless right now. I, uh, I plugged in some 2.1, 2.3 uh, HDMIs in this as well, and changed some of my settings to uh, RGB lighting for um, my monitor, and yeah, I... Uh, I am just blown away right now with how this looks. The last one was a little bit fuzzy, but this, this is crisp and clear. Still a little bit of um, frame lag there, but that's okay. That's maybe 60 frames. I am just blown away by this right now. What's up with all the light tanks? Oh, I know what they're doing. They're going to go for Artie. It's a good call. Let's see if we can track them. Nice. They're both down. Beautiful. You know, I, rather than slacking off, I'm going to try and focus a little bit on this match. And uh, see see what I can do this game. I'm going to move the mic forward a tad bit. Because I literally just got this all hooked up. I'm also downloading games right now, running at about actually a substantial down download rate. I think the highest I saw it jump to was like 445, but I don't even think it supports 445 in honesty. I think the most that the Series X goes up to is like 400. But yeah, I'm I'm looking forward to playing a couple of games over the next um, month and a half. And just seeing the changes that the Series X is going to be making to games that I've bought in over the course of the uh, past two years that are Xbox One and Xbox One S enhanced. And so far, I'm impressed. I mean, it's only been 20 minutes that this thing has been on. And I've already downloaded a 55 gig game known as World of Tanks. And just, wow! Even the trees have a little bit more texture to them. And the bushes... I mean, just the coloration on this and the, sh the reflections, the shadows. You know what? That's something they need to work on. The reflections on the um, original uh, Xbox, the One X, they were bright. I think I'm going to report that now that I've played them both. They were s super bright now that I think about it. Sand River, if you guys are still experiencing those problems on Sand River, I wonder if it's um, due to this coloration difference here. Wow, this... Alright, I am blown away by this, you guys. I know that I'm just on repeat right now, but... This feels like instant response. Not a lot of latency. It it looks good. It feels good. It looks good. I feel like a broken neck. No, let's actually take down the iron ring. Drop a threat. There we go. That's an auto loader. That's bye bye. That's 1500 damage. That's going to be saved from hitting people. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and back off this hill a tad bit. It is 6 to 10. Oh my goodness. But 
but this just looks and feels amazing. I might load in some HE rounds since he's giving us a side. I got two of them. Four to seven. This might be some crazy comeback. Hit the tracks. Yes. Provide that assistance. This is such a strong position as well. Oh no, he's below the hill line. And that's not good that I uh, readjusted myself a tad bit to get some better shots. I should have stayed just a little bit more focused on what I was doing. And we have the high explosive that hits the top of, hits the ball of the turret, sets us on fire, and then artillery. Yeah. So all the health in a matter of two seconds. Other than that, you guys, um, I'm stoked that I have a Series X now. And I'm stoked about how this is looking, how fast everything's loading. It's going to make me a little bit off whenever I'm doing my recordings, though. I don't know if I'm going to be timing it right before the match starts or if I'm going to time it like at the final 15 seconds or not. But yeah, this looks and feels really good right now. I'm super stoked about putting it through its paces and seeing what some other games look like. Other than that, you guys, um, nothing to say except for 1,000 subscribers. This is a milestone that you guys have helped me achieve. Um, honestly, it's a literally a checkbox I can mark off my bucket list. I have a channel with 1,000 subscribers. Um, thank you. And seriously, though, help me decide 3070 or 3060. I still don't know. The price difference is like 150 bucks. I'm stuck. That, that's I've been asking people at work and none of them know. So if you guys are a computer tech and you know a little bit more than I do, um, it would be helpful. Yeah, I am just stoked about this. I'm staring at it right now. Sorry, you guys. You guys have a fantastic day, night, afternoon, whatever time it is for you. Uh, let's see how fast we can get back to garage with this. It, oh my god. Wow. Okay, yeah, it's fast. I'm out of here. Jesus, I can spin my tanks around and it's 60 frames. I mean, holy crap. Yep, I'm out.